On this good Friday, thank you so much for hanging with us. Molly Karam here in CT. The fellas are on the road. Hi, guys. How we doing? What's up? What's up? Good morning. How y'all doing? Good. Good day. Yes, sir. You, you guys ready on? to get into some playoff talk or what? I like the look Head on Max enough. today. The nice, nice blue shirt, mm. you know, the ah. tie and the whole bit. I'm very, very pleased. It <laughs> offsets all that gray oh, on Lord. your face. I mean, I must confess. <laughs> Back in a compliment. I just can't wait. I just can't wait to even talk about playoff basketball. Let's, Let's do go. it. All right, let's, let's work, folks. So Damian Lillard's feeling good about his Blazers getting the J-O-B done against the top-seeded Warriors. Blazers in six or seven. Blazers in six. Blazers in six. <laughs> that confident. So he later clarified his bold prediction, saying it was just a lighthearted exchange. Meanwhile, Jeff Van Gundy feels about the playoffs as Stephen A. did about the regular season. It's just a foregone conclusion. Here he is on Rosillo and Canell yesterday. The playoffs are over. We just don't know it yet. I mean, we haven't seen the results, but the playoffs, if they avoid an incident this year and they're healthy, the playoffs are over. I don't think the, the Warriors will be challenged. I didn't think they'd be challenged last year either. They had the incident in the finals. Cleveland did a great job coming back to win. Uh, I feel even stronger this year that there'll be no challenges to the Warriors. They're that much better than everybody else. Uh, I'd be surprised if any game uh, or any series went to the seventh game. Listen, you know, everyone's going to try to, oh, I could see this. You really could see some team beating the Warriors in a series. Which team? Which team has enough firepower to score with the Warriors? So this just in, Golden State, a big favorite to win the chip. But Stephen A., what's the biggest threat to the Warriors in this playoffs? Well, I think the biggest threat is themselves. And I applaud uh, Draymond Green sitting down with our very own Mark Stein to highlight what he has to watch out for because Draymond Green can play on my team any day of the week. He's a top two candidate for league defensive player of the year honors. Um, and I think he's the energizer bunny. He's the spirit of the Golden State Warriors. He's the guy that stirs that cup. He's got to make sure he keeps his head on straight and he can't be coaxed into going after anybody or getting himself technical. Some of them I didn't think were fair to him, but to be quite honest with you, others obviously were more so than fair. But in the end, what it comes down to is the biggest concern they have for themselves is because when we look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, 29th in defensive efficiency, LeBron James no doubt can do some things. We know what a supporting cast that he has, but it's not on this level. Kevin Durant went, went to this gravy train for a reason. They have the best shooting backcourt in the history of basketball. They've added the best second, the second best player on the planet, as far as I'm concerned, in Kevin Durant. You combine that with the fact that the major nucleus of the team is pretty much still intact, you know, with the, the, with the Sean Livingstons of the world, with the Andre Iguodala's of the world, with the Draymond Greens of the world. And there's just no question to me that their biggest concern is themselves. That's what this comes down to. And it's and, and in terms of themselves, it has to be specifically Draymond Green because with everything that I said, even with Durant, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, if Draymond Green finds himself in trouble where he ends up picking up too many flagrant fouls and as a result getting himself ejected or suspended from a game, then you know what? That's going to compromise Golden State significantly because as great as those other guys are, Draymond Green has to be on the court in order for them to win the chip. The number one threat to the Warriors is injury to Steph Curry. And Steph Curry has been injury prone in his career. He's not a real big, strong guy. He gets you. And, and this, first of all, this is what he brings. We know Durant. Many people consider him the second best player in the world. Draymond Green is Steph Curry's pick and roll partner. And given the things he can do, play five out with Draymond, play defense. You mentioned the energy he brings uh, to the club, all those kind of things. Yes, he's very important. But what Steph Curry does with that cannot be replaced or even really approximated on the Warriors, even though other guys can handle the ball and play the point for a while. You mentioned Iguodala and Livingston, of course. Steph Curry gives you dribble penetration and decision making in the same package as the guy who sucks the defense out to 30 plus feet it is irreplaceable on the warriors when durant went down the warriors took a few took about a week or two to adjust and then were a terror looked like were the best team in basketball period best team in the nba without kevin durant but if they lose steph curry or even stephen a if he's compromised as he was in the playoffs last year i had a big problem with them chasing 73 wins last year 
I saw Steph Curry playing, and you can't say meaningless games because the best record was still sort of in the balance with the Spurs. Talking about not this past season, the season previous. So you can't say totally meaningless games, but they weren't that important that he should have been playing overtime games against teams that shouldn't have been competing with the Warriors in the first wow. place, and he was racking up those minutes. Eventually, he hurts himself in the playoffs. I can't prove that it's correlated to those minutes, but I thought maybe it was. It's possible it was. He wasn't the same player, and let's face it, Stephen A., he couldn't get separation from Stephen Ad Adams at times in, in the conference finals. We saw each other there game seven. I mean, it was a bad look for Curry. And then in the finals themselves, he choked down the stretch, and maybe part of that was not just LeBron getting in his head, as I said, but the fact that he was physically compromised. If, if oh, Steph so, now you're, physically, so now you're willing to acknowledge that he was physically compromised because at the beginning of the I year, you didn't, want to, you didn't want to hear it. I'm saying I, no. I'm not saying you didn't acknowledge it. I'm saying you didn't want to hear it. You said, no, right. no, 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 no. I don't want to hear about him being physically compromised. Stephen A., he choked. You used the word choked. I mean, he that's did. what you said, Max. Uh, excuse he me. Did. How, he did how are you? Hold on. A question, sir. Question, Maximilian. Question. How are you choking if you're physically compromised? Well, you don't have to, just because you're physically compromised doesn't mean you have to throw behind the back careless passes out of bounds in a one possession game in the closing minutes at home of a game seven again in the finals. Like that is choking. It's not about being physically compromised. That Or, or maybe you don't clearly not want to shoot when the pressure is high, which was what was happening late in game oh, seven, Stephen A. We hold both hold saw it. I'm about, I'm about to catch a heart attack. I'm about to catch a heart attack. Are you saying on national television that Steph Curry was scared to shoot? Yep. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Game seven. I what? Saw sure. what? Late in game Sc seven. Now, scared to shoot the basketball? Now, now listen. He could say, or someone could defend him by saying, if the shot's not falling, it doesn't help his team to shoot. Okay. He couldn't go to the next thing he can do. He couldn't go to try to get separation you know, with his handles and try to set up teammates because he couldn't, because you he keep, was you physically keep, you keep compromised. This, you keep uttering this nonsense. I'm going to have you banned from talking basketball. I'm going to talk to the bosses and have you banned from talking basketball. Man, this is some blasphemous stuff coming out of your I mouth. Did. This is some blasphemous stuff. I mean, th 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 Max, he's scared to shoot the basketball. I understand what the behind the like back plate. Loose, they were loosey-goosey with the basketball all year long at, 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 at some moments. Mike Wilbon complained about that incessantly. And yep. I get where you're coming from. But, Max, that's not choking. And if you're saying he's physically compromised, I don't know how you can go from that to saying the word choke. I think you're crossing the line with this blasphemous well, well, rhetoric I will tell right you, now. I'll, let me be very clear, and it gives me no pleasure to say this. I thought that Steph had become the best player in the game. Not that he deserved to be based on everything that LeBron could do and others could do, but given the rules of the game and the way the, the game is played today, I thought Steph actually was best suited to take advantage of those circumstances better than any other player. And I thought they would win the championship. But a couple things happened. One, he was physically compromised, and that made him less effective overall. And two, and maybe I got the order wrong here, maybe this is one, I thought LeBron James got in his head. I thought he took his heart. Does not give me any pleasure to say that. I love Steph Curry, but that's what it looked like to Let me. Let me tell you what I think you're doing right now, Maximilian. I'm going to tell you what I think you're doing right now. I kind of think you're letting Kevin Durant off the hook because you're saying if Steph Curry for some reason goes down, oh, my Lord, to stop the presses, everything that we hope for for the Warriors, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Draymond Green is a different matter because of the energy, because of the physicality, and because of the defensive prowess. He's a different animal. But if Steph Curry goes down and I still have Clay and Kevin Durant is everything we say he is, you should be able to overcome a potential loss of Steph Curry or Clay Thompson. As Never. long as you have one, hold on, as long as you have one or the other with Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant should be more than able to make up Let for that. Let me tell you why you're wrong. Let me tell you why you're wrong. The Warriors may be indefensible. There may be no way to truly defend them or to no, overcome them this it. year, given what the rest of the league has. But here's the best thing you can do if you're an opposing defense. Make Clay put the ball on the floor and make decisions with it. It's not that Clay can't do that. It's that that's the least, that's the thing he does least well in terms of the things that he can do. He, right. if, if you, if you take correct. Clay and take him from a shooter and make him a guy who puts the ball on the floor and has to make decisions with it, he's okay doing that. 
But he's not a superstar doing that's that. That's evading the in, subject. That's evading the well, subject. Well, who, but who else on the team other than, that, than no, Steph no, no, does not, that gets you dribble not penetration I'm not and saying makes you're decisions? Wrong. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is it's irrelevant to the issue of Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. I'm not talking about Draymond Green now. We're talking about the two guards. Kevin Durant's presence alone safeguards you. If Ke if Klay Thompson or Steph Curry, God forbid, ended up going down, Kevin Durant is not just a shooter. He's a player. He's not just a player. He's a superstar. He's not just a superstar. He's one of the top two players on the planet. If Klay or Steph are compromised in any way, in any way, Steph Kevin Durant is supposed to be able to make up for that. This is what champions are made of. This is what well, look, I think you're letting him off the hook. I don't think so, Stephen A. I think it's the way the team is structured. If they had a point guard on the bench who could get you dribble penetration, Sean who could Livingston. make decisions with the ball, Sean and Livingston who could shoot do from that. outside. What's that? Sean Livingston, can do, Sean Livingston can do that. Yes, he can. No, he's, he's not a shooter not from the outside, shoot. but he can. He doesn't he can shoot get, it I, like I, no, that. No, I didn't say shooter. I said dribble penetration. Are you talking about dribble penet penetration? He, he and you talking about making creating his... matchup problems from the guard spot and still being able to run the show? Sean Livingston yes. can do that. But there is less space for everyone to operate because in the same package, he's not a guy who can suck out the defense. The point but, is, with Ke look, if I just told you this to start a season, forget about the Warriors, everything you know. Given their supporting cast, if I told you, here are your big three: Kevin Durant. Clay Thompson and Draymond Green. You'd say that team is a 50 win team if they have a good bench. They can make it to the conference finals if things go right. That doesn't sound like a championship team unless you have a for real point guard. And hey, it's not hey, like you're taking Steph Curry hey, off if he's compromised physically and putting in Damian Lillard or Isaiah Thomas. Hey, you're taking hey, Max, Steph Curry off. Talk, There's no approximation for about, him on the team. Hey, Max, you're talking about Steph Curry or Clay Thompson like they your height. I'm sorry, Clay Thompson, 6'7. Kevin Durant, 6'11", and both of them can shoot long range. I don't give a damn about dribble penetration and a space or whatever. Well, you you should be able to make things happen even without Steph Curry. I'm not saying Steph Curry's a superstar. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying to you, Kevin Durant is your security blanket for a reason. It's the best security blanket, arguably, in the history and of basketball. And what and I'm he, saying he is the game, is still, he better show the game up. is still one in the paint. Now, it's not posting up like they used to as much, although sometimes it is. Now, it's dribble penetration to the paint, but if you don't You're have a team... You're not saying that if Draymond Green doesn't get suspended for Game 5. Guys, 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 so much more to get You're not saying that if Draymond Green doesn't get suspended for Game 5. It's not even a conversation we're having. I don't know if they win that game just they if he doesn't get suspended. They win that game, it would have been over right. five. You sure right, about that? All right, yes. all right, Yes. Gentlemen, we got to keep it moving. Let's go to the champs, because LeBron's got the keys like Khaled, but he's keeping it very close to the vet.